Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss Cardano formula. The formula is used to solve cubic equations. Consider equation x cubed plus px plus q equals zero with constant coefficients p and q. We are going to use the following strategy to solve the equation. First, we assume x equals u plus v, converting one variable into two variables u and v. Plug in the equation to establish another equation in u and v. Then we are going to find another relation for u and v that simplifies the first equation of u and v. This way, we establish a system of two simpler equations in U and V. We solve that, and then we are done. Let x equals U plus V. Plug in the equation x cubed plus px plus q equals zero. We have U plus V cubed plus p times u plus v plus q equals zero. We expand the first cube term. We have u cubed plus three u squared v plus three u v squared plus v cubed plus the rest of the terms. We rearrange the first four term. We have u cubed plus v cubed, then combine the second and the third terms, factor out three uv, we have this. Look at the two terms in the middle, in red. They both contain factor u plus v. Factor that out, we have this. u cubed plus v cubed plus u plus v times three uv plus p, plus q equals zero. This is the equation. Look at the red part. If we assume three uv plus p equals zero, then the equation can be simplified as u cubed plus v cubed plus q equals zero. Combined with the restriction, we establish a system of equations in U and V. We rearrange the equations. The first equation becomes U cubed plus V cubed equals negative Q. For the second equation, we move P to the other side. We have negative P and the raise to the third power, we, we have a u cubed plus times v cubed equals negative p cubed over 27. Now look at the, these two equations. We have u cubed plus v cubed equals something and the u cubed times v cubed equals something. Naturally, we can use Vieta's formula, u cubed and v cubed are the roots of a quadratic equation. Solve the quadratic equation, we got the values for u cubed and v cubed. And finally, x equals u plus v is actually the sum of the cubic roots of the value of the u cubed and v cubed. Cardano formula is easy to derive, but its application is a different story. First of all, each cubic equation has three roots. It seems that Cardano formula only gives one root. As a matter of fact, when we solve u from u cubed, solve v from v cubed, we have three u and the three v's 
as a cubic roots of complex numbers. So we have a total nine combinations for different U's and different V's. And then we can test three U V plus P equals zero. We will see only three pairs satisfy the equality. Those are the roots of the, quality, uh, the cubic equation. However, this is not the end of the story. Let me give you another example. Consider equation x cubed minus 7x plus 6 equals 0. If we use cardinal formula, we have x equals the sum of two cubic roots of complex numbers. It looks very complicated. On the other hand, the cubic polynomial can be factored easily. x minus one times x minus two times x plus three with three simple real roots, one, two, and then negative three. How do we reconcile the result? We need to simplify the expression. The first cubic root has three values, all complex numbers, with real parts one half, one, and the negative three half. The second cubic root assembly the complex conjugate of the first one. If we add them up accordingly, we end up with three real numbers, one, two, negative three. Simplifying complex cubic roots of complex numbers can be difficult. I had another video, cubic roots of complex numbers to discuss the details. Essentially, to simplify the cubic roots of complex numbers, we need to solve a cubic equation. So here's a, a dilemma. To solve a cubic equation, we use cardinal formula, but we may end up with complicated expression. To simplify the expression, we need to solve a cubic equation without using cardinal formula. That's all I have today. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel, Number Sensibility. Thank you for watching.